Hi, today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a wolf in perspective. Um, my wolf is going to be laying down and you're not going to see its legs. So we're going to start off with like an almost a teardrop type shape. Just like that. It's okay if you don't get it right away. And then you're going to come and you're going to make almost an oval over it. Like that. Alright, there's your, there's going to be your body. I'm drawing these in steps, usually I can draw it a lot faster, but I want to show you how. To draw a head, we're going to take a circle almost a squared type circle and it's going to be closer so it's going to be bigger than the other parts now we're going to connect the circle to the bottom of the teardrop right in here like that if you hear it um, I have music playing in the background that's how I just draw uh, it doesn't help anyway so don't assume you have to listen to music while doing this now, I messed up a little, so I'll just take my eraser. I shouldn't be using a mechanical pencil, I will say this much. I should be using a regular pencil. But I've drawn almost a half oval. Like that. I don't know what kind of shape to call that. And now we're, we're going to make the shoulder blades. And put, after we... Now we'll make the ears, because the ears are easy. And basically, you're going to find the points on the back of the head. Probably at about the end of the oval on one side. And a little bit before it on the other. Like that. Now your ears are going to be kind of big, but not too big. Maybe like that. Alright, we're going to erase the lines inside the ears. And along the head. Just like that. I erase this one. Just like this. Erase excess lines. We're going to come back here. Erase this. And right along here is going to be some rough where the fur is going to be. You just want to find that line real quick. And erase the rest. Just like this. And center line, it's going to be even right into here. You can use a ruler if you want. And so you're going to have more fur coming like this. And because it's laying down, it's going to be more air, uh, aiming downward. And here's a shoulder blade, and here's the other. And then the rear end has two lines too to mark where that is. And I have the tail curled up with the feet, so you can't see it. I'm going to come back over to the ears and the nose. What we're going to do is, there's going to be a line here. And we're going to put some fur back here. Signify he's got a neck. I'm going to stick his nose here. And I'm just going to follow it up. I'll move that line up for a bit. Like that. See, the bottom of your ear should be even with it. Be able to connect like that. And about here should be where the nose part has this crease. Okay. His head is going to overlap parts of his ear like that. And then right here, his eyes are closed. If you can see that, let's see if I can, if I can help any. Uh, I think, I think that'll work. Now, uh, if you can see that, that's good. But if you can't, I'll go back and darken it up. But it's just basically a line connected to a smaller line. And then we're going to go through and we're going to erase 
the extra parts. I'm three here. Now, if you noticed, I left some of the line through here. I just did that so I know where the nose part is. I'm erasing my center line to help me. And we are almost done drawing our wolf without color. If you want to color it, you can. Wolves are not one solid color, so... Uh, let's see. They have this little line that comes up like that. That's to signify they've got... Well, we're not going to put those. We're going to have a more of a cartoon type wolf today. Uh, we're going to come around like this. Give it a little def uh, definition in his ear. And he's going to have some fur. kind of flakes off like that on each side. Not so noticeable on one, noticeable on the other. My eraser is getting dirty. So, I'm going to erase the part that overlaps. Just like that. Now we're going to go on the inside of the ear. And make a little rough because their ears have fur in them, just like that. Oh, that will be a straight line here, so we're going to erase. And then he's got some fur. It comes down. And some of this fur, like up here, will come flaking off as if he just fell down or whatever. And have it come like that. music changed on me. That's okay, I guess. Uh, well, that's just your basics on how to draw a wolf like this uh, in perspective. Uh, sign it at the bottom when you're done, and you're finished. of some sort. And I grab my pen. And see, now you can see it. I've moved. So you can see where my wolf is. And that's basically all you have to do. Uh, thank you for watching my video. I will have more coming out as soon as possible. Uh, until then, thank you. Uh, please rate and comment. And tell me what you think. Thank you.